Well, um, today's conference I'm actually talking about sustainable lifestyles and the question how actually you know, can we be more sustainable in our lifestyle, in our consumption patterns. And actually I'm comparing, first I'm looking into how do we consume today. And I'm comparing actually an average German, um, which is using up to 70 tons per capita a year for its consumption, to somebody from Bhutan, for example, which has a consumption around of 0.5 tons. And if you know that they're consuming quite differently, you can ask a different amount of material they're needing for their happiness. You can ask how happy are they actually? Are they happy with all the material consumption in itself? And you will find that people from Bhutan are actually seen as being quite happy overall. So that leaves already a kind of question mark if consumption of material makes us happy or if there are actually other areas and maybe family relation, friendship um, can actually bring more happiness in our society. Um, that's one point I would like to make. Another one is actually what do we need to do in order to consume more sustainable? Of course, first of all, we have to have sustainable alternatives. We have to know about them. So we have to see if there is an alternative car which is using less fuel or even maybe a mode of transport, public transport, which is easy to use, or how actually to have a house more sustainable. So how does a living room look like if it's done in a sustainable way? So also what kind of scenarios can we build on this? Or how would I eat if I eat more sustainable? If I eat maybe climate neutral, would I eat cheese and meat? Or would I eat something uh, different? So trying to explore this, what it actually means to consume more sustainable, is another issue I would like to highlight. And then I would like to ask, what do we have to do in order to prepare ourselves to be uh, more sustainable and have the sustainable choices? And I would say we need more businesses producing more sustainable uh, products and services and alternatives. And I guess for this we will have to start new companies. So I'm looking into sustainable entrepreneurship. Um, I, my personally belief is the big tanker, the big multinational companies, they will also go into sustainability, but slowly. We will have, to, we will need, and I would call them, they're the big tankers, which are in the ocean. They are very much present, but they go slowly. And then I see these little speed boats on the right and left side. And this can be sustainable entrepreneurs. So we need to actually educate much more on sustainability in universities. We need to find a way how sustainability and entrepreneurship can be combined. Normally, if you look on um, economics, you will mainly talk about conventional economics how to about talking about sustainability and economics and then also trying to find out a way how to generate a business model and a business idea based on sustainability. We are doing this already successfully in Africa. We are teaching there at different universities. We are changing education there. We are bringing in new students, young students, which are looking first on um, what are the problems at home? What are the problems in my local community? What are the problems related to lifestyles maybe in my region, in my country? And then they are trying, based on this perception and based on their understanding of the problem situation, they are trying actually to identify how can I offer a sustainable infrastructure, product, service to the society? How can I be an entrepreneur who is supporting a sustainable lifestyle based on a sustainable business model? And all this I would like to talk today about and yeah, that's it.